Hey you, it's Jess here. We are doing another sticker haul um, because I have just a bunch of other stickers in that I wanted to use in September and October. So I got them shipped. <laughs> but I also got a bunch of Dashing Diva nail stickers. So if you want to see them, I'll show them right at the end. You don't have to sit through them at the beginning. So let's just get straight into the stickers first. I have a little order here from Planet Choco. This is from one of her $2, uh, well, cheaper Tuesdays, her foil Tuesdays. And this is the Mansion line. Um, she had Mansion as well as Haunted. And I believe Haunted she actually designed to go with my Haunted art, which you'll see in kit form in this haul. So I did pick this up to go with that spread. And I picked it up in matte silver. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I just ate McDonald's, so Matt Silver, so I'm burping. This is the freebie. Really cute little autumn freebie. So yeah, I've got all of these to go with. Um, they should release it ha haunted as well as a haunted mansion um, set at the same time, but I thought these full boxes would go well with this the um, haunted kit as well. You can see the matte silveriness here. I was thinking also of doing her light blue, but I I haven't seen it in person, so I wasn't sure if I wanted to gamble on getting them in blue, like as well or instead. So I just went save and went with the matte silver, and I think it'll look really pretty. Plus, I have matte silver bundles from SPC, so I can throw those in for bougie boxes and like extra things, confetti and whatnot. Um, but I got some extra things to add to it. I got the hull protectors and the designs on the haunted are like keys and skulls and candelabras and like moth butterflies. All things that are shown in the haunted art, which I thought was really fun. Um, and I also got the cluster deco for that as well to sprinkle around the spread. Like all of this stuff goes perfectly with the kit that I drew. I definitely feel very spoiled in that I picked up the headers um, and I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use yet. I do love the chandelier, uh, the um, candelabras, but also the keys and the skulls. I just thought I'd add them in. And then I got the full boxes. So you have some corner boxes and some double boxes. Well, a double box and some corners. I didn't want to go too over the top, but I did also like these line boxes. I think the ones I really love are these two at the bottom, although these are really cool too. So I like how two of them have like a confetti behind them as well. And then this is my favorite part, the bottom washi. I know when it comes to like themed washi, I love the bottom washies the most. And I feel like most of the time you could just get away with a bottom washi, like literally just buy this and then use a normal foil bundle. But this will add so much to a spread across the bottom. And you know I'm using those kind of labras with my haunted set, so that's everything I got from Planet Choco. Love checking out her shop every Tuesday for her new designs. She often comes out, you know, with seasonal stuff, but also stuff that matches kits that come out. So I'll definitely keep an eye on her shop um, every Tuesday to check that out. Uh, seeing if anything will go with the kits that you're buying. So love that. And then we have our usual Caress Press. And I love the, I got two of these, which is great because I have two matching foil bundles. She released her maple foil bundle in this glittery copper orange. You see the glitter. So I got two of those. But I also got two freebies, which are in the exact same um, foil. See here, they are glittery. Uh, but these are like little quotes, so I think that'd be really fun that you can just stick it on a um, wherever you want on the full box. You know, so it doesn't have to take up the whole box. So you have leggings, leaves, and lattes, please. Thick thighs, full vibes. Pumpkin, patch, cutie, and spice girl. And honestly, all of these work for me. <laughs> so I might even just um, put these in with the, each bundle and use as many as I can when I use each bundle because they match perfectly. So I love that. I also picked up my um, October monthly kit. This is the House of Haunt. I think the other one was the Haunted Art, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I know I'm gonna use that in the actual weeks. So I wanted to use different art for the month. And this was art by Sully Studio last year. 
very classy, very um, chic Christmas. I do love the dog uh, greens and blacks. And the paper is really cute. This one, I love that one. This one's also really fancy. So I like that. You know, her kits always make me think of The Sims for some reason. I think because they're more interior design um, focused rather than like other themes. I feel like she has a real eye for interior design. So I did pick up Pumpkin, which is the new Silly Studio Art. I feel like it's filming a lot like richer in color where it's a lot softer in person. Really pretty soft orange and pinks and roses basically. And have these extra boxes, so another double scene here. You know we all love the light brushes now, they look so good having all the light reflections. It just adds so much to a, a um, scene, I just love doing that now. We are really pretty full colours. Now I did get this, um, I always buy Caress Press in the largest size, so I get the full bar, full heart checklist, so I can always use it in my pre-planner. And I was like, we'll say actually both of these kits, I didn't buy the 15 millimeter, and I don't know if I should have or not. Cause like, what if I wanted to use this in my main planner now? <laughs> I probably wouldn't because of the bottom washi. But I don't need the 15 millimeter if I use it in my pre-planner, you would have, know what I mean? So it's pretty much is planned for the my pre-planner, but it's a very pretty cat kit. <laughs> Excuse me, and <laughs> I'm just so burpy tonight. Oh, apologies. Uh, and then I also got Autumn Dreams, which I realized I also bought from from Scribble Prince Co. And I, I also bought it with um, full hard check boxes as a kit to go um, in my pre plan. I guess I just completely forgot, but this is the Autumn Art from Darcy. Really, really pretty. I really love this um, vintage jug the most, I think, out of all the art. And this slug is cute too. Oh, there's a happy birthday box. That's cute. These are some extra boxes. Yeah, I just thought, you know, this is another one to have in my collection. I like these colors. It almost makes me think of a, a spooky. This would be a really good Halloween set too if you're not really into Halloween. But I feel like these colors give me Halloween vibes as well. So you could do this for a later autumn set. Um, but once again, I didn't get the 15 millimeter. <laughs> And then with the SBC version, I got the checkboxes, so I don't know what I'm doing with these, but they're really, really pretty, and I'm glad to have them in my collection. I feel like all of us at this point have a billion autumn kits, and well, can you? I don't think there's anything wrong with that because they're all beautiful. So, we also have SPC here. We have uh, a 75 plus freebie in this really good olive color. I got some freebie bougie boxes and some matte labels in gold. And then I just picked up some new laundry scripts. Um, I just got three pages of them because I literally ran out of all of them. <laughs> uh, you know, it's something I do every week. So I use those scripts up pretty fast. Then I picked up this color of the week. Um, this was 83. And it is a really nice neutral color. Definitely going to be useful for the up the upcoming season. But I also find these are really good for like fantasy kits, like my Lord of the Rings art, or just any of the fantasy stuff because it tends to have more neutrals in it too. I got some um, foil bundles. I got the I think this is light orange. I think this is the orange confetti. It's not glitter or anything. It's just I think a light orange. So I got that in the confetti. You've seen these bundles, so I won't show them to you, but um, uh, I won't linger so much on all this. Because <laughs> we do have a pile of uh, four kits to go through as well as the September mystery. Uh, but I also picked up the punk in the uh, extra, like the fun core. So we got matte bronze, we got champagne lights, and we got a lavender hollow. I feel like Lavender Hollow would actually be a really good addition to the 90th anniversary, but we'll see. We'll see what I use with that. But also, yes, we've got some kits here. Um, this kit is basically why I requested the second sticker hole so quickly. I usually wait the full month to get another package, but 
I was filling up. I did an order from Amazon and for some baking stuff as well. So I just requested the box again, which is why you're getting a stick hole so quickly after the last one. But I really did want to use this kit at the beginning of September. So now I can. <laughs> I just think it's really cute. This is an exclusive I did for Andrea. This is farm. She wanted to do farm animals. I can't remember what other kits. She gave me an option like to do two other different uh, themes by Trose Farm. Because I already had some ideas for it. Um, like I did the goose pie and the little goose. Like there's no goose in it. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a fruit pie. But it has geese in the made out of the <laughs> of the um, pastry and then had the goose jug and the chicken um, egg holder in my thoughts. So I, I did want to do the farm. I don't know, for some reason, when I was picking out references for animals, I was like, you know what? I love these baby animals with their mum. And it just turned into that. <laughs> I didn't really realize I was doing that, but they're so cute. They're too cute not to do, but the little babies, you know what I mean? And I love the idea of like the, the jumper holding the eggs and it's all just very, um, it's like neutral and light. So it'd be great for spring as well, I think. And honestly, if your your mom is into this, it's, or you're into this, this would be a really cute Mother's Day kit as well because you got the little babies in there, little baby cow in the background. So why not? But I, I just had a lot of fun with this. You know, I did the animals, did the farm, but I was like, you know what? I love the, like the little geese design and something a little bit more whimsical in there. And he got hand gathered fresh eggs from the Scribble Prince farm. And these like antique tomatoes. I know, I just had a lot of fun with it. Um, I really like it having like the soft and neutral colors. And of course, then we had to do like a sunset, just so picturesque. And I also realized I drew both kids holding chickens, but you gotta love chickens, you know what I mean? And the box, you can see the little barn cat in this one. <laughs> um, and then you got the baby cow. But I grew up with chickens. Uh, even in the suburbs in Australia, we had chickens growing up. And I just remember always having the chickens. And at one point we also had a bunch of guinea pigs. And we also had rabbits and cats. So <laughs> I grew up with a lot of animals, um, even living in like the suburbs. So. You know, it was fun to draw all of them. And then I just really loved this like scene idea of the barn door with the barn cats. And then we had to put in a tractor. I think Andrea put that on the mood board and she's like, you're gonna kill me because we always have the joke about drawing cars and stuff. But I sat down and I drew the tractor. This was actually, um, I actually started these scenes off with my like new, uh, approach. I can see Heidi outside through my window and she's in the table outside of my window staring at me <laughs> through the blinds. Oh dear. Anyway, I, I don't know if I could be able to catch it on my phone, like on the video to show you. You can kind of see me in the reflection, but she's looking at me. Yeah, I got some footage, so I'll insert it into the stick hole. So you can see Heidi outside looking at me. What a creeper. But anyway, uh, my new approach drawing scenes is not everything has to be perfect. So if you like really looked up close, I mean, it prints so small. They're not all the lines are perfect anymore. I just couldn't, I couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> it's just too much. I needed to be able to like bring it back and, you know, it's part of like the art process of you need to learn to let go and just let a bit, get a bit loosey goosey in parts. So I'm finally doing that, just bringing myself back a bit. And then I uh, love this bottom washi with all the gingham. And then you have like the person with holding the carrots. And then this is a box of potatoes. They're not, they're not very potato-y, but they're supposed to be potatoes <laughs> as an extra vegetable. So I didn't actually, yeah, I just picked up this is, I didn't even say this, this is a freebie box with the different hands, but they also have different jumper colors. I thought that would make it a bit more reusable um, if you could do it that way. Or, you know, uh, just something different for each hand and you could choose which jumper color you like best instead of skin tone. And then I just picked up Family 3 with the brown hair because I think I liked the brown hair look with this instead of black. But that was Farm. 
And this is my autumn art for my shop this year. This is autumn walk. Um, how, how did this come about? I'm not sure. Um, I think I was always like, you know, you have a coffee shop and you have the bookstore kind of thing. But I was like, what if you were on a shop and you're going out for a shop and you did some shopping, you get some groat, you get some like lovely stuff from Kindish Galleria. You got the coffee and you got the bread and, but then you were having a lovely autumn walk out front of the cafe. I don't know, just something a little bit more extra. I think I started off with park in autumn and then I kind of added in the idea that you have like the shops and the coffee shops and you just hung out with your girlfriends kind of thing. Um, picked up some sweaters and a nice hat and then um, we've also got, I really liked this um, rain design, this rain cloud design on this phone. So I drew that and it rains in autumn. So I thought that worked for that as well. And um, I just try to do a bunch of different, um, you know, um, like I have a little bit different. I try to like not have any real icons and stuff on the, on the bags and whatnot. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, but you know. <laughs> Uh, and it's just a, like a, a hanging out, enjoying the outside, fresh autumn air and having some pastries and coffee and shopping while you're at it on your autumn walk. And this is a freebie. I think the other box with the other skin tone is in the kit, but you got sitting by the water side at the park. The cake says, hello, autumn. I just thought that was really nice. Just something different as a scene. And then I also drew this girl and thought, you know, she's out on the walk taking photos of wildlife or anything of, of her friends, you know, in the kit. So I thought that was fun. And I just want to try a different, um, a different color palette to what I have done previously. So I brought in, so we have like the plum colors and the, the olivey green and the, the orange, but then you have this lilac and this ice blue. And I just thought I added a little extra to it. And you got the little cat in the jumper because... I could not. It's just so cute. <laughs> um, love adding animals where I can. I mean, they're, they're not easy to draw, but it's still fun. Just a lot of leaf patterns and tartans. Yeah, I thought it was like a different kind of um, color palette. And then you can just sit on the outside of the cafe and enjoy. So that was Autumn Book. And see, once again, I bought Autumn Dream. Um, I know sometimes I feel like people enjoy the comparisons uh, in the video of the two kits. So for me, the Crest Press or Script or Prince Co. So there's the differences there. I don't think there's a huge difference, honestly. And you got the colors. That's probably where it's gonna be most different. Um, it's really the different green and oranges there, the red. So that's always interesting to see. If you are uh, still thinking of buying either one of them from either shop, there you go. But yeah, this girl's really cute. I love like, there's definitely the vintage vibes in here, which is really fun. It does make me think of like, um, Autumn in Finland, especially the basket of mushrooms, because everybody here has their mushrooming area that they go to. <laughs> Usually a secret in the family, but see, look, I got the hot checklist. I don't know, I guess I thought maybe if I wanted to use this one in my pre-planner instead. Um, but this one's really pretty as well. Again, that's the birthday box. If I wasn't a Halloween girl, this would be great for my birthday <laughs> in October. But sadly, I am. And this is really fun. I like the floating candles. Again, a bit witchy as well. You have the same bottom washi, but yeah, I really like that. It's really pretty, like painterly flowers. I like that. But we'll see, we'll see. Um, I was kind of just buying autumn kits because I can, and it's it's hard not to, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then finally, before the mission, oh no, there's another kit up to this one. This is the reformat of Boo Day, which I drew a couple of years ago now. Um, maybe 2020 or 2021, possibly. Um, this is like my Halloween birthday art because obviously I have a Halloween birthday and I feel like it was requested for a while. So this is my sort of glam, my glam pink and black and gold birthday art from that year. I'm still really happy with it. Still love the way these girls turned out and the, this um, 
little box of chocolate truffles and this cakes. Oh, everything looks really good. I'm so happy with myself. I love this box with the cute bat um, shoes. And again, I got also got this for the checklist in case I wanted to use it in my pre-planner for like my birthday week. Um, and I, yeah, I was just really pleased with this art when it came out. And I really still really like it, so. It's nice to see it reformatted. I can't remember what the colors used to be. It probably was these colors, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I made it a bit more glam and girly, so you have like the lace um, details instead of like full spooky. And I really love these like dipped green apples. I think they look so cool. I love the tie-dye close-up on this bottom washi too. Really like that. And here's the final kit before we get into the September mystery and then all the nails I bought. It's haunted. My ha my first Halloween set of this year, my second one obviously was Vampire. And we kind of got like a little sneak of that here with the Dracula book. But yeah, this is my idea and I really go over this in my vlog where I drew this. So if you want to check out in more detail, I do have the Haunted Studio vlog. But my main idea for this was... Um, I had the list on my list to do an autumn bookshop, but I feel like that has been done a lot. And then I was thinking, you know, like, what do the bookish girls get in Halloween? And I feel like there aren't so many book themed Halloween sets. But like, how cool if there was a haunted bookshop, like um, in previous years, there was a haunted house art. Uh, so I really drew inspiration from that and made a haunted bookshop. So you have like the outside of the bookshop here and then the inside where it's all disheveled. I just had a lot of fun with it and I really loved the way it came out. Just a lot of like spooky, um, yeah I tried to make it like proper spooky because I usually go pretty like party or um, cartoony. So I'm really happy with how this came out and you had like the little ghost girl at the ghost of the bookshop. And she could be a ghost too or she could be someone adventuring through the bookshop. Shouldn't be there. And then of course I did some classic books. You got Dracula, you got Turn of the Screw. And then I put in The King in Yellow because I feel like that's a really good collection of short horror stories that I really enjoy. Um, and I d do recommend because it is interesting. It has a bit of sci-fi in there too. And um, like the vibes of that book is what... Um, inspired the first season of the True Detective show. So if you liked that, then I would recommend the book. Did a scene of the hands with the moth. I don't know, I just thought that was a cool visual. You got like the Victorian dress here, so perhaps also a ghost in the bookshop. Tried to make a little story, so you got like the open book. You have like the ripped up letter that's still sort of um, together with the wax and bow. And you got like um, this locket um, inside a little container, the two locket of the two people. Um, and then I added a bit more like autumny feels, like the autumn leaves, and they got like the white moth kind of thing. All spooky. And um, I actually got a message from Planner Face Anna, who I love. Um, shout out to you, Anna, but she was dragging this scene around and she didn't realize. There's a woman in this window, but there is. Try to get as close as I can. Look at her, spooky. She's just right up there in the corner. I thought that was a fun little, <laughs> I actually got someone with it. So I'm so sorry, Anna, but it was just a fun little, I thought it'd be fun detail to have a little ghost waiting in the bookshop. <laughs> just up in the window up there, but. Uh, and I was really happy with these patterns too. This is actually a pattern from Esthete, which I recolored. But um, I just really liked the way I did that ages ago. And we have like the moth pattern as well. And then this was like a grungy brush that I had found that made like sort of, um, it's almost like wood, but marbly, but alcoholy, but scratchy in the pattern. And I just really happy with that, how, happy how that came out. But as you can see, it's a very monochrome kit. I really wanted to play up like, it's the dark, spooky night filled bookshop. And then we have the other scene, which was um, just the books lying around and the little gap through the window making some light. And I thought that'd be good for a quote box too. And they got like the pages, which is also from a seat as well. But you can see here I've got the um, the uh, the cut the candelabra looks on the bottom washi. I think that's really nice. 
and just the overall um uh yeah the overall look of these so you know you can you see the the silver uh, matte I think would go well with this but I feel like you could also have done lilac and ice blue and um, even like lavender hollow and navy yeah, lavender hollow here maybe too hollowy for me but I like it to be dark and dank <laughs> but that is all the normal kits um, and let's get into the September mystery it hasn't been as the time of filming it hasn't been shown yet but uh, I won't put this hole up until it's been shown but this will be pretty soon after that so if you don't want to see the September mystery and you're not interested in my dashing diva nails then go ahead and go thank you so much for watching but otherwise let's have a look at September mystery kind of different from the rest of the vibes it is this really fun 50s diner set so let's crack her open Looks like we get some hollow foil with this. I haven't looked at this at all. And this is Art by Dusk, so I don't think I've seen this one at all. Um, I think I saw a sneak peek of like the list of the artists and themes, but I can't remember them anymore. So the diner was a surprise for me. <laughs> but I love it. It's such a fun, um, bright and happy diner set. I've never lived in a place that had diners like this. It's really an American thing, <laughs> but it looks so fun. I always wish we had like 24 seven diners so I could get pancakes and milkshakes in the middle of the night. <laughs> but this is done so well. Dusk is such an amazing artist though. Like, come on, her girls are so cute. And the details and the shading, just wonderful. So I always love to see her art in the mystery, super fun colors. Makes me almost think of the carnival set that I did with Andrea. It has similar colors, but not really similar. This is a lot more like pinks, but it does make me think of that. <laughs> so fun, wow, the outside of the diner. It's putting my diner art to shame, to be honest. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. I just, you know, it's just one of those things where you like, a human thing where you know your stuff is good but then you look at other people's stuff and you're like oh my god why do I even bother <laughs> it's so good but in a, you know it's in a fun way <laughs> I'm really just really glad there's such beautiful art available oh my gosh you're also cute I love this old-fashioned telephone too oh so pretty um so I'm definitely going to be using this I think I'm going to use this next um, June, probably June, July, August definitely feels summery to me. So I'm going to save that for summer, but I love it. I'm definitely going to be using that this next year. And we did get a hollow foil sparkle bundle with it. Just something simple. I might just put this, tuck this into my collection and uh, we'll see what we use at the time. But never say no to just a foil bundle to have that can go with anything. But yeah, wow. This is really beautiful. I love this. <laughs> it's so fun. It also makes me think of The Sims too because, I don't know, that just makes me think of The Sims. I've never been in a diner so I wouldn't know. Um, but yeah, really love that. Such a good mystery. Do I know what October mystery is? No. I think I know what November is though. I think. I don't know. Don't trust me on that. But that is all the stick is and I'm going to go through my Dashing Diva. Uh, I have been talking about them again recently in Plan With Me. It's because I kind of used up my whole collection instead, except for a bunch of these gloss stickers that I got last year. And they're all Halloween. Actually, some of them were from the year before. I had a whole lot of Halloween ones. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, so I tried them out and I also had a couple Halloween of these glaze ones. Uh, but I've also tried out some of these glow ones and they're also really good. So if you want to know the difference, is gloss is just a thin sticker that you stick right on. It's like the same with, it won't do anything for your nail. It's just a sticker that covers your nail and you can just peel it right off. Like literally just even with your finger, just peel it. Uh, but they're really good. They actually do last a long time. But I find that if you 
use your fingernails a lot, you lose your hand, use your hands a lot, you scratch things or yourself, the the ends of it on your fingertips will come up and then the sticker gets kind of gross. So that's the downside of gloss for me. Although the upside is it's so easy to put on and take off. It takes like 10 minutes. And then Glow is a new thing that they have and they don't have many things available for Glow. Um, also, I think these are like $8, I think. These are 10 and these are 14. Um, and I only really get like one week out of gloss at the most, to be honest. But it is nice to change them a lot and they're pretty cheap. Glow, on the other hand, is also like these ones in that you just stick them on and then peel them off. But these have the volume on them, so like they're two times thicker, so they're a bit more like the glaze that I'm wearing now. They, they're a lot thicker on the nail, and I find that the sticker stays better on the edges as well. But they haven't released a lot in Glow. So that's why I don't have a lot of those, and I've gone to glaze instead. Because <laughs> the designs are coming out really for the glaze nails. But, um, so then you get the thickness, the more of the strength. This gives no strength at all. My nails broke all the time with gloss. But with glow, they're a little bit better. And then glaze are the ones that you stick on and then you use an LED lamp to cure them and they become a hard nail. And they last a lot longer. I had one pair on for almost, almost three weeks. I kind of took them off because they were growing out a lot. Um, and I had started getting lifting at the, like the edges down here, the cuticle, it starts picking your hair. But I haven't had too much of a problem so far with them. This is my, my second pair. And you get like the thickness and they're hard and you don't get the weird edge lifting cause they're like hard plastic. So I have turned to get more of these, but these are harder to get off. Um, one of their methods is they do have a magic off liquid, which apparently just lifts it straight up, but I haven't been able to buy it. I think last time I went to buy it, it was sold out, but now I just haven't bought it because, I don't know, it's seven bucks and I haven't had the money. But, uh, uh, so I've been taking this off by putting cuticle oil on my cuticles and then using the orange stick that comes with them just to carefully start prying them up until it peels all the way off. And then the cuticle oil helps the nails stay nice but yeah but my nails don't break at all under these they last longer they look nicer so um but i did get some um stuff like yesterday they released halloween nails so i did get a couple but these are like their last couple of collections we've got hollywood lane and this has like the glitter this is why i use these because first of all nail polish like peels like right away <laughs> Like chips off right away, it's really annoying. I hate waiting to do the applications and the layers and blah, and I always mess them up. And then they barely last. And you can only just do like one color. And maybe a glitter, but cleaning glitter off is the worst, which is why I turn to these. Cause look at these beautiful designs you get and like the black nails and they're like, you just peel them off and you have like no staining. So good. So we have those ones. And then this one is first class. So you just have the black again, but then you have like some glittery ones and some marbly ones. And then with glow, these are smoke show. You can see you got some smoky ones in there and they have like little bits and pieces of shiny silver. These look like clear, oh, they have glitter in them. They're like clear white glitter with sparklies. You have some black in there as well. And then these ones are black velvet, and so you got like the velvet cat eye look to them, which looks really awesome. I don't think I'd even use the black ones that come with them, I'd just use the black velvets. Um, butterfly effect, which I actually accidentally bought two of, but that's fine. <laughs> these will be great in spring and summer, but you just got these beautiful um, butterfly um, designs bit of a tie-dye, a little bit of shininess to them. And then the glazed ones, they're a bit harder to show because they've changed their packaging on them, like you can see there. So first one we've got here, um, they recently did a thing where all pink nails were like five bucks. So getting this $14 pair for $5 was pretty awesome. That was for the Barbie movie. <laughs> um, 
but this one is a juicy grape. Might as well have a look at these. Um, I'll just open these up and show you. They do come in those like, you know, um, if you use the Ohai or whatever they're called, the other nails. I think they're in South Korea. Um, but Dashing Diva is like, they're South Korean, but they in use the States, so they're easier to buy for me. Um, okay, so this is what the juicy grape ones look like. Oh, look at that glitter. That's really fun. And like super neon nails in here. So that's that pair. And then we have Cereal Drop. This is like an art one. I'll just show you these ones. I have to open up a couple of different ones to show you, so I'll just show you what I can here. But this is again another packaging. <laughs> so random. Um, but yeah, I like those, that kind of arty design to open those. This one, I think it's just a straight up color. This is Magenta Madness, another neon pink that I got for cheap. Um, I think actually this was in the pink section too. This is Cheerful Cheetah. Here's some cheetah printers, some glitter and stuff. And these are newer ones. So I got this pair out of this group. And this pair has like strawberries and um, peppers. <laughs> so fun. But here we got Runner Up. This is part of like a black collection. So I'm looking forward to seeing I feel like these have been opened or shuffled with. Maybe my male people were looking at what they were, but we have three different designs here. Look how fun they are. I like these glitters. I could never do myself, you know? It's just too much of a mess. I get a bit more here. Okay. I think that's all of them. Of course, they come in these containers because you don't want LED lights to get on them. And then we have, and I'm really excited for these ones, candy cherries. And I don't know if I want to buy another pair, maybe. Because <laughs> I'll wear them the once and then I'll be like, I'm so sad. I don't have them anymore. <laughs> so it's a, it's a bit dangerous, like, um, sticky kits that way. Or wax. Can't wait to look at these. Oh my god. These are so cute. The purple ones. I didn't even know they had like these cherry and strawberry and banana design and strawberries. And then we got this pink lot. And then look at this group as well. Oh, these are so cute. Just imagine making nails out of this. Ah, they're so fun. It's interesting. I think this is the swirly whirly one here. Oh yeah, and these are clear, like they, you can see through them, they're not white. These actually be clearish on your fingers. So that's so cute. I really like those. <laughs> um, but yeah, so those are the nail stickers. If you've never bought from them before, I do have a link down the bottom. I think you get $5 off and I get $5 or something like that. I don't know, only if you're interested, but that, that's the differences that I found. I thought I'd just do a proper in-depth haul because I got so many, <laughs> but I was really down to my last Halloween sets. Um, so it's nice to have um, re-bought everything. They got Halloween out and they also bring Christmas designs out too. So I think they're exciting in that way, even if you just wore them during the holiday season. Um, but yeah, I actually really like the cured ones and they do actually Last a bit longer than 14 days, in my opinion. Um, but otherwise, I would go for Glow as well. The gloss are good, and they're cheap, and they're plentiful, but in terms of long-term wear, I think Glow and Glaze are better. But those are all the things I got from Dashing Diva. And the end of this haul, I hope you liked it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I love you. Bye-bye. Thank you.